this is Dana and welcome to my channel The Orchid Hut. Today I'm going to be doing three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back videos on featured orchids that are blooming in my care for the very first time. Now this first video is about a Phalaenopsis and this Phalaenopsis actually has a name. It is called Friends Princess. And this orchid has uh, been in a couple of previous videos. I will put links to those at the end of this one. But one video had to do with how it arrived to me about a year ago, and it had had some heat damage during shipment. And two of the leaves had to be um, cut in order to get rid of that sunburnt part. And then um, another thing that sort of happened was that it began to get a little bit dehydrated the way that it was potted and so I had to repot it and it was somewhat stressed from that. But now you can see what it has done unexpectedly is it put on a bloom spike towards the end of the winter. Now I did not expect this one at all to send up a new spike because after all it had been seriously stressed from shipment, from having heat damage, from having to be repotted and a little bit dehydrated. So most of its existence with me has been sort of under stress. But here it did a spike anyway. Now it was a little bit of an anomaly where it produced the spike because it sent up a spike in the exact location where the spike was last year when it was shipped to me. And this year it has one, two, three, four, five blooms that are open and one more bud on the way. Let me see if I can get the camera to really zoom in on that bloom. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous pink with a lot of speckles throughout. One of its parents is a Phalaenopsis by the name of Leopard Prince, and I'll put a picture of that one in the video. Its other parent is called Friends Lady, and I could not find a photo of that one. But you can see how it is related to the Leopard Prince with all of the speckling. Gorgeous Phalaenopsis. I'm happy to have this one. I'm happy that it's very, very hardy and, you know, will recover nicely. As soon as this other bud opens, I will probably be removing this spike and putting it in a vase because I would like this one now to get itself out of stress mode and work on root growth. You can see that it has already started doing that just a little bit and hopefully next year it can produce um, an even larger spike with more buds on it. Okay, so care for this one. Just like all of my other Phalaenopsis orchids, this one was under the grow lights starting last fall through the winter, and then once it set this spike, I just left it under the grow lights, but I'll be moving it now to the bay window so that I can enjoy this uh, for a little bit before I remove it from the plant. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and the subscribe button will be coming up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Thanks so much for watching and two more featured orchid videos to come.